In Photoshop 2023, go to the gradient tool, select that, go with gradient at the top, top left, and select a rainbow gradient. You can find it here. What you can do, select radial and apply. Now you'll notice I've got transparency here. So if I go over here and delete this, I've got a transparent background. How to achieve that? Just make certain when you go here, you've got this stop here, you go to the properties, you can set up this opacity as well. And you can find the properties panel in the window menu and properties. Just set up something like this with a black here, which is 100%, but stop here, 100% as well. And also makes the last stop is zero with the midpoint crunched against the end. And then you get this lovely transparent rainbow effect. Now I'm going to apply a filter to it. I'm just going to go to filter and down here to distort and wave. Now you'll notice you get this panel pop up. I want rasterize. I don't want a smart object. I want to rasterize it. And the reason being, I want to transform it later. So just convert it into a rasterized pixel layer. Then set number of generators to one. And then you can modify the wavelength and you can tweak it, change it, create all kinds of distortions, but try and keep it within the document. So you can see here, it's all the way around in the center, click OK. Now with this design, what I can do, I can go over here to effects. This is in the layers panel, make certain the layer selected and bevel emboss and just add a quick bevel. I'm going in a bevel, smooth, set the depth to about 800, 900 and change the size. And you can see as you do that, get a variety of different designs. Click OK. This design I want to apply to a pattern, but I'm going to create additional copies of this. So hold down the Alter Option key and drag to duplicate design. Then just go here and you've got this bounding box. Show transform controls needs to be on for that. And you can rotate it just slightly, a couple of degrees. Maybe if you want, you can just resize it and squeeze it in like that and press return. Now apply a power transform or power duplication. Command, Option, Shift and T. And you can see that generates multiple times, just like multiple times there. And you can create all kinds of unique three dimensional designs using this approach. I want to define this as a pattern. So go over here to the selection tool, rectangular marquee tool, drag over this design, and then go to edit and define pattern. And you can see the design there in that preset panel. Click OK. Select and deselect. Now I'm going to apply the pattern to a new layer. So layer and new layer, and then go to edit and fill. And I'm going to use symmetry fill. Symmetry fill is a great one. So content, set that to pattern. Go for the custom pattern, just select the one that you've just created. Make certain the script is on and symmetry fill. Click OK. And you can vary the setting. Go with seven, but just turn around and think, you know what, I want less or more of the scale. Also, you can change this translation and you get a variety of different designs. Maybe something like that. That creates quite an interesting sort of design but you can vary the other one as well and just try it. Maybe you want that type of design. Literally hundreds of different designs can be created by moving this back and forth. Just test them out. It's a pity there's no randomized feature. You can also color randomize as well. But personally in this one, I'm just gonna keep as is. Click okay. And then you've got your design. And of course you can apply other filter effects to this as well. So filter, maybe go down to stylize and oil paint. Set it to fairly high, make certain lighting is on, and click OK. And you can create a lovely smeared design like that. Or if you wish, go to Edit and Fill and apply it again. Simply go to the script, okay, make certain that's on, Symmetry Fill, click OK, and then change the settings. Maybe go with that one instead, click OK. And you can see and create infinite amount of designs from a very basic pattern design. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below.
Thank you much.